this is the city where over 150 years ago the Chartists marched on the streets of London demanding the right to vote, secret ballots, paid MPs. Eventually the mass won. This is the city of John Wilkes and the London mob. Wilkes who fought for the right of freedom of assembly in this city. We remember you. This is the city of John Lilburn. Lilburn who was tortured demanding the right to remain silent without being guilty. We remember you, John Lilburn. This is the city where over 150 years ago walked into the British Museum and sat in seat 007, none other than Karl Marx. Yes, 007 was the seat he sat in. This is the city where in exile he planned the revolt that would shake the timbers of the world. His name was Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. He lived and spoke and wrote and spoke in this city. His was a voice that resounded around the world. We are living in such a time that really the power must come up from the streets. This is our turn. It's either now or it will maybe never be at all. We have to take them on. We cannot leave it to Parliament. We cannot abscond our responsibilities through the ballot box. Lenin said that ours is a Parliament for the biggest gas works in Europe. He was right. Parliament has its place, but it's not in the vanguard. We have to rise up. We saw the response on the ground in Grenfell, in North Kensington, Lancaster West. That is what is required. Anger, analysis, determination, people taking power in their own hands. We will not abdicate responsibility. No, we will not allow them to appoint judges to decide the fate of the corporations that cut down the costs so that that terror could burn. No, the people must hold those corporations, those councillors responsible. Finally, on the issue of the Labour Party, this country has been for the last five years the biggest arms exporter in the world. Yep. Who do we sell weapons to? Saudi Arabia, the Gulf, there are 9,000 British arms companies. 9,000! What do we produce for the world? The city and arms companies. That is what we're fighting. And they are the ones in power in this country. And it will not be simply removed by a stroke of a ballot pen a pen in a ballot box. It requires organization, determination, and ultimately a new form of organization. We cannot expect the Labour Party, 80% of whose MPs oppose Corbyn, to deliver what is needed to put the City of London where it belongs to close down the arms companies, to stop the arms trade that this capitalist economy lives on. It requires socialism. It requires to resurrect the memory of Lenin, Marx, the Chartists, Lilburn, Wilkes, and yes, the people of London will 
revolt will take power. Thank you.